Hello everyone, this is Frank from Apple One to One. Today I want to go over some of the key features of the Health app. So the Health app is the white icon with the red heart. We're going to tap it. Now you'll notice down on the bottom you have three areas. You have a summary, and that's going to give you a daily summary of all the different types of activities that are logged in the Health app. The second is a area that we're going to get into towards the end that I think can be very important to some. It's called sharing. And the third is the browse. Now, the browse is going to list all of the different categories that the health app will track for you. So if we start with the activity, just to give you an idea, you the activity is going to show you your activity rings that are on your watch and on your phone. So you have your moving, your standing, resting energy, steps, walking and running distance, physical effort, standing hours, and then it'll give you a summary for the past seven days, 12 months. And so that's a nice handy area for you right there. Body measurements, now this is pretty straightforward. You're going to put in your height, your weight, age, all of that pertinent information, and it's going to store it for you. And you can see you can, you can really get pretty detailed as to what you can log in there. Next is for women is the cycle tracking. If you're trying to get pregnant, um, this will help you log all of that important activity. And they also have a lot of very interesting articles that will pertain to women's health in here. Hearing. As we get older, um, the iPhone will help track the hearing audio levels. That gives you, you'll notice that there are some days for very loud exposure, and then it'll give you notifications, and it'll tell you about the data available for environmental sound, headphone notifications, hearing test results. And don't forget, AirPod Pros, they can also act as hearing aids. So you would take the hearing test, and it will adjust those AirPod Pros to help you and to use as a hearing aid. Your heart, this gives you your heart rate, walking rate, viability, cardio recovery. All of that information is logged in your phone and very easily accessible to you and your physicians. Now, another thing here are medications. A lot of people um, take a lot of medications and really don't know that the phone, if you log your medications in... Uh, you can, it'll set up a time for your schedule and it'll notify you on the phone. If you have an Apple Watch, it'll do it on the watch as well. Notice it has medication inf information, drug interactions. So it will automatically look at the medications you're taking and let you know if there are any interactions that you need to be aware of. So, for example, uh, drug interactions, one serious, one moderate. Pregnancy, Lactation. So if you fall into those categories, you may want to look at that and see um, what the medications are. And they'll tell you things that you can talk to your physician about. As you log your medications and then set up a schedule and it'll notify you of the times. Mental well-being. Uh, this covers exercise minutes, time in the daylight, sleep, uh, all different types of things. Some use it more than others. I tend not to use it a lot. Mobility, again, it's your tracking all of your mobility efforts by day, summarizes it. Right. Nutrition. So the nutrition, I use an app called uh, Carb Manager, and it will log all of the information for you as you log what you're eating, and it logs all of pertinent information in here by day to help you with your dietary restrictions or just your overall diet. Respiratory measures your breathing rate, uh, walking minutes, cardio fitness, blood oxygen, and again, it all depends how much you want to put in. Sleep, I don't use that at all, but you, if you have an Apple Watch, it will now, if you wear it while you're sleeping, it will record your sleep, whether you're uh, how much REM sleep you get, how much total sleep you get, if you have sleep apnea, how often you wake up, all of that stuff. And then down the bottom, your health records, where it says add, a, add an account, um, you can, depending upon where you are, it'll 
locate hospitals and health facilities that you can select as an account and it'll forward some of this information to them at a particular time. If you go to summary, that's going to show you everything that you've pinned under your account. And it's going to show you everything that you log in during the day. And it's going to give you all that information in a summary. And again, it's going to give you articles that you can read to get you further in tune with your daily activities. The biggest thing that I wanted to show and talk about is health sharing. What's nice about this, those of you out there that, that have uh, older parents and they're taking medications, um, what you can do, if they have an iPhone, you can share, have them share their information with you. And because occasionally, you know, maybe parents will forget to take their medications and you'll get a notification saying, hey, it's time to take. And you can just kind of follow up during the course of the day. Hey, did you take your medication? So on and so forth. Now, also, if you have children that need to take medication, that's a handy way to find out have they taken their medications if they're, let's say, in their teens and, you know, they're kind of on their own by taking their medication. So one of the things that you can do here is you say share with someone. So once you set up the phone medications or all of the pertinent information that you want, you hit share with someone. Then what this is going to do, the person you're sharing it with, they need to have an Apple device. So I put in a person uh, here that, John Doe. So healthcare suggests useful topics to share. So let's take a look at some of the topics. So health alerts. Uh, these notifications are not immediate and take a while to appear on John's device. Headphones, cardio, fitness. So you can select any of these. Okay, that you want to send, whether let's say high heart rate, low heart rate, walking steady is, steadiness. Now, another point I want to bring up that what is a very useful device uh, if you have parents that, that you're trying to keep an eye on, um, get them an Apple Watch. You can set up the watch and have large numbers if they have trouble reading the small numbers on the watch. But more importantly, it'll track all of their activity. Walking, steadiness. If they fall, it'll automatically uh, come up on a screen. And if need be, it'll automatically dial 911 for them. So you would turn these items on or off as you see fit. And hit, we'll hit next. Now, this is your mobility. So exercise minutes. Uh, stairs, climbed, steps, walking, running, walking, steadiness, workouts, all of those you can select to turn on or off, and it will be forwarded to you. So you can keep an eye on the, your parent's activity or your child's activity. Heart rate, resting heart rate, walking heart rate, average. The nutrition, all right? So if they log what they're eating, you will get a summary of the nutritional impact of what they're eating. Other useful topics, blood glucose. If they are taking their blood glucose, maybe they need to take it three times a day, four times a day, once a day. Whenever they take it, you will get a notification of what it is. Environmental sound levels, headphone, respiratory rate, sleep, weight, medications. This last page here is going to preview what you've selected. And then all you do is then you hit share. And then that person that you're sharing this information with will get notified with all of those vital statistics on a daily basis. It's a nice way to keep track of your parents or, like I said, if you have uh, your sons or daughters need to take insulin or their uh, blood glucose levels or any other medication that they need to take on a daily basis, it's a good way for you to keep track of them without kind of, you know, bothering them. I hope you guys found this helpful and useful and um, let us know in the comments. We'll talk to you soon.